Hey guys, welcome back. This is Han Stark. And first of all, I'd like to wish you all a happy Eid. And I have some really important news for students today. For students that are planning to come to Canada in next intake, that is uh, September and that's fall. So the government has implemented and they have given us some really important updates. But the universities and colleges have also decided about what their plans are and how they're planning to move ahead with the situation uh, with COVID-19. So the important news for today is that, actually I'm making this video a bit late, but uh, the colleges and the universities have announced that for the next intake, that is fall, most of the courses like that are like the ones that were already online are gonna stay online for probably for the next whole year, which is basically this uh, September or the fall intake. So if you're in courses like business, or math or any of those courses that don't require practical labs uh, for example if you're in like nursing or doctorate services or engineering which require you to be in a physical lab those courses might not be offered so you might have to defer your uh, intake but the ones um, that like businesses and other stuff the courses that were online and the ones which were not, but can be done online that don't necessarily need physical interaction between the professor and the students is gonna stay online. So yes, that's a sad news that uh, the students who are planning to come to Canada in September might not be able to come because of the situation right now. We don't know how international travel is gonna be affected if the government is allowing international travel. But yes, yeah, so for the future, if you're planning to come to Canada in September for the fall intake, you probably might need to take online courses. So I've actually divided this into two parts, like the pros and cons. The situation might seem bad, but it's not that bad because technically, if you're studying online, you can study it back from India. You don't have to come all the way to Canada. So first, it was like the students had to complete at least 80% of their courses like in class not online and if you didn't complete those 80% of your the whole the whole program like in class then you are not eligible for the postgraduate work permit but because of this current situation the government has changed those rules so it's like now until 50 up to 50% of your program could be online and you still will qualify so what that does is that you can stay in your home country and do your first semester at least because uh, I hope by the start of the next year, that is the January, the things are going to get better, students will be able to come in physically go to classes. But by then, this sem fall semester is definitely going to be online. Uh, and one of the pros for that is you can be at your home. You're not, you're not paying for your rent. You're not paying for other expenses that you might have to work for. Like when you come here, you got to do job, you got to pay your rent and uh, it really gets messy. So you're actually getting through your first semester without paying rent or anything else. So that is a blessing in disguise. So you can just stay at your home and not worry about those things. So you have one less semester to stress about. So that's one thing. Uh, that's the positive side of it. And the negative side of it would be like, you're missing four months of Canadian experience, like not really Canadian work experience, but the experience of being physically present in Canada, like experience and getting used to things like getting a hold of how things go around, getting settled into the college in your first semester, because as the semesters progress, the studies get harder. So first semester is usually the base for getting you set up for the coming semesters. But one thing good about the first semester is like most people are worried about the quality of education. So first semesters are always like general, like introduction to the studies, introduction to the college. It's not really that important and it's not really directly related to your course, like deep understanding of your course. So it's just general information. So yeah, you can do it online. It's not gonna affect you in the long run like as much. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And so uh, the post-secondary institution, I'm sorry, the schools have been suspended for the whole of the year already. And so the university are co and the colleges are following that guideline. So yes, if you're planning to come to Canada in September, and so I'm sorry to say that, but if you're a business student or any arts, commerce, uh, that kind of stu stu uh, like students which don't need any practical hands-on training, you're probably going to be left to studying online. 
And uh, yeah, that's my bit of information. And guys, stay safe. I'll be back again with some more updates. And take care and happy to all of you again.